But the final act of the 2023 season is at hand. What a spectacle in Las Vegas. We're off in Super Bowl 58. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by someone who has proved doubters wrong his entire career. MVP runner-up a season ago, Jalen Hurts. And he spoke very eloquently and passionately on media day about what a victory here would mean for him. He knows this just isn't any other game. This is the kind of game that stays with you for a lifetime. If there's anyone on this field tonight who's most ready for this moment, I think it's this man right here. On the option to give to Swift here. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. Second and nine now from the 21. Hurt sets up to throw it. He'll get this off to Swift. So give him two yards there on the completion. Third and seven now. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Well, on fourth down, Aaron Sipos on to punt for Philadelphia. Oh, the return is Prochet. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return, and the Browns will take over first and ten. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a quarterback, a longtime signal caller in the National Football League, former Super Bowl MVP Joe Flacco. Remember when the conversation was, is Joe Flacco elite? Well, at one point, he was elite enough to not only win a Super Bowl, but be named the MVP of that game. And for a time, one of the top-paid quarterbacks in the league. Not bad for a young man to transfer to Delaware from Pitt while in college. This guy has had a great career, not many chances now to lead an offense, but still capable if put on the field. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First and 10 here for Flacco. Got an open man, that's David Njoku, the tight end. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second down and four. Operating off play action. Flacco looking deep in the direction of Cooper. Touchdown! Amari Cooper with a first touchdown of this Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Browns put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. 
both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Just a four-play drive that time, and it's Amari Cooper who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And out now come the Eagles. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Play action. Here's Hertz. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. They'll run right here with Swift. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And his throw here is incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Aaron Sipos on to punt as he'll get this one away now. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Here's Flacco. That's complete. It's Elijah Moore. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Now it's Flacco. And he'll go right back to Moore. Complete again. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, 
exactly as he drew it up in practice. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Nice tackle, nice play by Kevin Byard. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Flacco here on second down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. How about this offense? Already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. On fourth down, Corey Bajorquez gets set to punt for Cleveland. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. This is brought in at the 21. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Shifts by him. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test him early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now back to throw. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. Well, it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Had some good yardage there, too, before he fumbled that football, Charles. Yeah, just think about it this way. Running backs, as a general rule, they kind of know when the end of a run is near. And you notice how they cover up, right? They protect the football. Sometimes quarterbacks forget that out in the open field. After a while, you start to wonder, does the running back coach visit the quarterback coach and say, hey, I can help you with this. We can protect this and make sure we keep the ball. For the Browns, good starting field position as they have it first and 10 at the 39-yard line. So the fumble recovery, now Flacco to throw. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. 
That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7 nothing is our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Setting up to throw, Flacco. And he is caught, and he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going, and if points result, we'll call this play significant. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Kareem Hunt taking it in from seven yards away. And the Browns continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need. So maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away and here's Scott to return it and a decent return out to the 27 yard line the Eagles offense back out onto the field and they're in a bind early here down 14 nothing are you worried at this stage or still too early you're worried you're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team you want to make sure that they stay positive but at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Now a throw here to his running back. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Hurts fumbles it, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Second time in this game, Charles, the ball is squirted out from his hands. Luckily, his teammate was there to pounce on it. You're right. Got the lucky bounce, able to retain possession. You know, we often talk about the combine and why do we measure quarterbacks' hands. Is that really a big deal? It's for situations like this. Do you have the hands big enough and strong enough to hold on to the football while being jostled? Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he's going to take this across the 50 in the Browns' territory. He'll get three of those penalty yards back here, leaving him with a second and 12. But well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. 
from the gun. It's Hurts. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jordan Elliott busting through to get him for a loss of six. Well, if the goal is to get back into this game, the offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now, but unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. And now the Browns coming out on the field. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watched 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how have we, have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking at the clock. Don't start thinking about, hey, just take care of the football. Keep attacking. Usually the best way to maintain control. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second and nine now from the 21. Here's Flacco. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now Flacco. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. Let's take it inside his own 40. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Here's Hurts to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles' first down as he'll get this down to the 40. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. On first and 10, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. This a second and seven from the 37. Throwing his hurts. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 26. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs.
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. This short throw caught by Goddard. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Second down and four. Burt sets up to throw it. Quick slant to Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he's down inside the 15. It's a pickup of six. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Back to throw again. And it's caught. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are on the board here in this Super Bowl. As the offense went on the field to start their last drive, you know they discussed in the huddle, hey, if we put one in the end zone here, we put ourselves in a position to start making a comeback. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And that one makes it 14 to seven. So that drives seven plays in length and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Cleveland offense making their way out. Still more than a minute to go, so there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. Seemed like they picked an excellent time there, Charles, to go with the draw play. They certainly did. Caught them a little over-eager trying to get into the backfield and get to the quarterback. They used their speed and their aggressiveness against them, didn't they? Throwing here on first down. Flacco. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Second and five. Flacco. That one is caught by Hunt. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. Big yardage there for the Browns, 18. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Flacco. That's to the right side and complete to Njoku. 
And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and 10. Flacco will take to the air again. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Third and just one. It's Flacco. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the left hash, this from 34. Hopkins' kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So it was fourth down and one in the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. And I'm a little bit surprised that that's exactly what they decided to do. I kind of thought that they would go for it in that situation. But sometimes I'm sure you just think to yourself, take the three points, put them in your pocket, and move on. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we one of the greatest performances of the year usually, but not here. Halftime of the Super Bowl is skipped, and we are on to the second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Browns offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. And I would imagine this is where you have to take stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue with that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl 54. 49ers had a double-digit lead in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hold on. So plenty can still happen. Now a throw here going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. To pass, Flacco. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because... Your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. They run with Ford. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they establish that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half gets around him and a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27 good effort 12 more yards there and another first down those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half but a good start to the third quarter and i know what everyone's thinking that's watching this they did a great job adjusting at the half oftentimes you don't make adjustments you just dial into your game plan a little bit better and maybe they're starting to make some headway and he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Here's second and three. Operating out of the gun, Flacco. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Now it's Flacco. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Browns are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Flacco. Touchdown, Browns! Amari Cooper, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Browns will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Hopkins with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And here's Scott to return it. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 18. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. A big play there for Philly. 42 yards. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead.
So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Swift going to try up the middle. Nifty move. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. They go play action with Hertz. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. First down, and they go with Swift again. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. 45 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Second and five from the eight. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Yeah, he's got it. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. But they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Swift is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon, and this time he had the speed to win that race. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's up and good, so they claw back into it. 24-14 now. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 
16 yards right off the bat and a first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. Now, meanwhile, a final play here is incomplete, and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And there's just one quarter that remains in this edition of the biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, as we get set for the fourth quarter. The Browns on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and nine. Passing play, Flacco. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. And oh, he's just gonna be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender, but a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This short throw caught by Goddard. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. And from the 34, here's second and four. Play action. Here's Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. And out across midfield, down to the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 45-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and seven. From the gun, it's Hurts. He'll get this off to Swift. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily, you pick up the guys downfield, and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Hurts. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? The leg's still there. This has been a tough game. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. 
The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And this Browns defense stands tall. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Now, that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 48-yard line, here's second and three. This is Ford. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Now, that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking at the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get them off the field with a three and out. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And that will hit and continue on out of bounds. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. We're well, certainly not going to see a better punt than that. Definitely taking a chance because if that thing clips the pylon, it comes out to the 20. But instead, it goes out of bounds at the one-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. 69 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Yeah, offenses always try to be smart about when they're trying to dial up a screen to the running back because they understand you can only go to the well so many times in a game without the defense starting to anticipate the call. Here's second and ten. Throwing his hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Jordan Elliott, his second sack of the night. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And now, goodness, possession's going to go over right at the 10-yard line. 
So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. On the ground, it's Ford. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Here's Flacco. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So on comes the kicker, Dustin Hopkins, in a big spot from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Hopkins' kick is good. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. But first down, Hurts. Pass complete, Goddard. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's a second and seven. Here's Hurts to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Second down, here's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And Goddard going to have an Eagles first down as the tackle made at the 31. So it's a win here for the Cleveland Browns. And it was thanks in large part to the play of the man who's been doing this for a while, their veteran quarterback. Yeah, he really had his A game tonight. He threw a couple of touchdown passes, and he was instrumental in earning this victory.